Are you looking for a relaxing getaway? Melbourne might just be the perfect city to sail and explore. With plenty of sheltered waters and amazing locations, you can find the perfect attraction you need. Ultimately, there are many options for a fun and scenic adventure on the water. If you are curious about what makes Melbourne special, we are here to bring you the answers. So let's dive in into our comprehensive guide on all the top attractions in Melbourne. Hey there! If you are new here, welcome to our channel. We focus on traveling around the world's greatest beach and ocean destinations. In this video, we'll explore the top attractions in Melbourne. Most of my views are from unsubscribed viewers, so if you're not yet subscribed, now is the time to click that button. Without further ado, let's get started. Over the years, Melbourne has become a cutting-edge metropolis that is always evolving and setting the standard for numerous technologies. Today, Melbourne is the only city in the world with five international quality sporting facilities outside its major business district. It has a great history, some genuinely enjoyable customs, and even some intriguing landmarks with deeper meanings. It has been ranked as the world's most livable city for seven years in a row. We are certain you will discover something that suits your taste and budget. Whether you are a landscape enthusiast, a sculpture enthusiast, or a fan of abstract art, you will be mesmerized by the striking beauty in the city of Melbourne. And in fact, you will find numerous artifacts tucked away in the Victorian era architecture that will capture your heart. There are so many art galleries and museums around Melbourne that will never cease to amaze you. In addition to its museums, Melbourne is also well known for its amazing biodiversity. You can take the time to explore some streets and turn a few extra corners to uncover the top restaurants in Australia, as many of them are tucked away on side streets. Undoubtedly, a Melbourne yacht adventure adds a much required thrill to your trip. In fact, various tourist attractions in Melbourne remain loaded with an array of adrenaline rushing activities. You won't know where to begin when you get off your charter yacht onto the docks in what is known as Australia's Cultural Centre. Ultimately, the city of Melbourne will make an immediate impression you won't forget. To top it all off, you can step down and use the opportunity to swim with dolphins before leaving your charter yacht. You can even watch these friendly aquatic animals as they swim before pulling off their stunts in their natural environment. Above all, we have curated a list of the best Melbourne attractions to start organizing your luxury charter holiday in these waters. Let's go! Mornington Peninsula Millions of tourists visit the Mornington Peninsula Shire each year. This location is a popular vacation spot southeast of Melbourne, Victoria. Mornington Peninsula is surrounded on all sides by Port Phillip and Western Port indicating that there is an abundance of sailing activities there. Love it or hate it, the Mornington Peninsula offers a distinctive and personal yachting experience. Moreover, it is renowned for its countless wineries, bustling bayside communities, and magnificent hikes along the shoreline. To begin with, a sailing excursion around the peninsula offers a fascinating view of the Portsea mansions that line the horizon. This gem of Victoria's coastline is a lovely fusion of beach beauty and a great wine region. It offers a wealth of sights and activities with its golden beaches, hills covered with vineyards, and spectacular nature. What more can you ask for? The inland will treat you to many luxuries if you choose to stay your entire day. Also, if you enjoy playing golf, I'm sure you will love the Flinders Golf Course. Honestly, Morning Peninsula is the ideal location to disconnect from the outside world. You can decide to relax in the hot spring steam or check into a five-star hotel. Finally, you can explore the art galleries, spas, and cafes in the quaint seaside towns or perhaps head inland for gastronomic treats at Artisan Vineyards. Since this place is closer to the ocean, it is never short of water sports including surfing, kayaking, and relaxing on the white, pure, sandy beaches. The next destination is Phillip Island. 
the adorable fairy penguin colonies that waddle from the sea to their burrows along the long shoreline have made Phillip Island famous. This island has a long history of supporting marine wildlife. In addition to the penguins, Phillip Island is home to koalas and Australian fur seals, both of which are marine mammals. Additionally, the island is a fishing hotspot, making it the ideal location for a night spent offshore. The area draws several tourists because of its abundance of animals, car enthusiasts, delicious food, and more. A tour around Phillip Island will make you experience sand beaches, unusual fauna, and amazing attractions while embracing the seaside lifestyle. There are many additional reasons to consider planning a tour on Phillip Island in your Melbourne trip. In fact, just 10 tiny penguins would certainly do it. Every tourist may find something interesting on this tiny island, including surfers, sandcastle builders, nature enthusiasts, sports fans, and history buffs. On Phillip Island, there are activities for foodies, thrill seekers, and nature enthusiasts. You can explore sea tunnels, cliff tops, mangroves, and mudflats. You can also catch the perfect wave at one of the many surf beaches while embracing your urge for speed on a go-kart track with stunning coastline views. Phillip Island is home to thousands of Australian fur seals, the tiniest penguins in the world waddling along the beach in the island's famous penguin parade still remain a wonderful display of short-tailed shearwaters filling the sky. At the very least, you can get an up-close encounter with curious wallabies munching around the island and a stroll along the treetop boardwalks of the Koala Conservation Reserve. Up next, Great Ocean Road. Have you visited the Great Ocean Road? Maybe you've heard about it. Whatever the case, you will realize why the locals call it their utopia when you delve in a little further. The Great Ocean Road follows the southwest Victorian coast for more than 200 kilometers in its entirety. Also, this road offers an amazing coastline drive and a beautiful vista of the Twelve Apostles against the mesmerizing South Pacific as a backdrop. Believe me, this is one of the most beautiful coastal drives in the world and you can discover the untamed beauty of Victoria's southwest coast. The magnificent Great Ocean Road follows the seashore cliffs along the untamed and battered Southern Ocean. With their jagged cliffs, deserted beaches, and towering bluffs flanked by vivid green countryside, the famed road's breathtaking panoramas inspire awe. You will definitely discover lots of things around every bend when you combine incredible surf natural wildlife, spectacular hiking and bike paths, and epic surf. The Great Ocean Road in Australia is one of the most breathtaking drives in the world. Winding past pristine beaches, rich rainforests, and breathtaking vistas. A simple tour will show you the top sites, eateries, activities, places to stay, and ways to travel to the Great Ocean Road. Its diversity adds to its uniqueness Due to majestic limestone cliffs, small seaside towns, and old-growth temperate rainforests kissing the shoreline where world-class surf breaks. Our next destination takes us to Grampians National Park. The Grampians National Park spreads out to the west of Melbourne in a display of animals and breathtaking scenery. A Grampians tour will allow you to experience nature up close and personal while spotting native animals like kangaroos and wallabies. You can also move around the tranquil surroundings that are rich in waterfalls, mountain views, and aboriginal culture. Most importantly, it would help if you took your time to explore the extensive aboriginal history of the Grampians with those who have lived there for a long time. Travel through the winding mountain passes and quiet bush tracks into the national parks on foot, on a bike, or in a four-wheel drive vehicle. There are a lot of fun-filled activities you can explore. You can try canoe trips, short day hikes, catered multi-day hikes, wildlife adventures, and cultural encounters with the Aboriginal people. Additionally, those who wish to take it a step further can reserve a scenic flight to view the stunning Grampian scenery from above. Amidst breathtaking springtime wildflowers, expansive vistas, unusual fauna, and lush greenery, 
a Melbourne yacht cruise is the ideal way to discover the Grampians and the rest of Victoria's outback. And finally, last but not least, the Grave Street. If you are going to miss the fun, do not miss the Grave Street. The Grave Street is a famous Melbourne laneway that condenses everything we adore about our city into a single tiny street. To get the most from your tour, try to spend some time strolling through this laneway rich with street art and its eccentric shops. You must make sure to stop at a little cafe and drink specialty coffee. Try to enjoy eating outside at European-style restaurants while listening to busky saxophonists and violinists. Dine in the middle of the famous lane and experience the Grave Street from the heart of the bustle. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are served at the quarter under the cozy heaters. You can also get up early for the matcha hotcakes with Oreos. Try the crisp pork belly tacos, and I can assure you that you will keep having dreams about them. Even though the entire neighborhood is filled with lanes that house cafes, restaurants, and businesses, none of them can compare to the Graves' legendary statues. The Graves, which runs between Flinders Street and Flinders Lane, is a busy street that draws visitors from all over the world. The great city of Melbourne has the enviable distinction of being home to some of the most friendliest people in the nation, and the famed The Grave Street is located right in the center of the city. One of the most well-liked places to eat in the entire city is an alley that is so charming, hospitable, and jam-packed with cafes and restaurants of all kinds. Furthermore, everything you have heard about Melbourne is true. It is passionate about sports and alive with art. It is simple to understand why this city appeals to many tourists with its breathtaking architecture from the gold rush era, vibrant food and wine scene, and charming suburbs. That sums up our list of the most exciting places to visit during your Alaska yacht adventure. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, ensure you also click the subscribe and most importantly, click the bell icons to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, feel free to leave a remark if you have any recommendations for videos. Have a great day everyone and thanks once again.